What's up everybody, Jesse Burdick here, answering questions for the Power Project, sponsored by <gasps> HowMuchYouBench.net, ThePowerMagazine.com, yeah. and The Slingshot, and also BSN. I didn't rap, so you guys are probably really confused. Anyways, I had a couple of follow-up questions about the um, how to box squat uh, tutorial kind of question that we answered before. The question is about shin angle on the, uh, on the box squat and how to get to that 90 degree shin angle that we want when you are box squatting. So I'm going to have uh, Moneymaker Mike go ahead and uh, do a box squat real quick and we'll pay attention to a shin angle so everyone understands what we're talking about. Go ahead. Shin angle. This is the shin. We're looking for an angle of about 90 degrees. 90 degrees is about straight up. So the question is, is this person has a shin angle that is here and he's asking for the best advice on how to get to a shin angle that is about 90 degrees or so. So the easiest way to go about this and the easiest way to correct this to make the box squat the most efficient and powerful um, movement that it is, is basically to raise the box. So take a look here. Mike is well below parallel here. Sometimes people don't have the hip flexibility, mobility, or strength in order to get here. So obviously we're gonna wanna go ahead and strengthen the hips, open up the adductors, and get to a position where we can actualize this without weight and also with weight. But the easiest way to make this happen, to go from this sort of a shin angle to a 90 degree shin angle, is to go ahead and just raise the box up. So go ahead and let's have you squat a couple times. Shin angle forward. Good. And up. One more. Up. Good. So what I'm going to do is take some rubber mats. It's about a quarter of an inch, half an inch. And we're just going to go ahead and put them on top of the box. And let's watch what kind of magic that does to the shin angle. Go ahead. Now it's much easier to him, for him to actualize a positive 90 degree shin angle for this because he's moving a little bit less and now he's actually pushing, his, pushing into his hips properly, moving his hips back onto the higher box. This is going to allow him to use his hips and hamstrings like the box squat was intended to and it's going to go ahead and take you, it, it's going to be much easier to get into this position and take you further with the box squat. Now we'll have a lot of people ask questions about like, is this cheating? Shouldn't I be going below parallel or at least two parallel? My answer to that question is obviously yes. But if you, can, if you can't do a movement properly, then there's not necessarily a reason to do that movement. So this is a way to make that movement usable, proper, you know, proper and also help you accelerate it. So all you do is you start to get into this position, you get mobile, you get strong in this position, and then you go ahead and you start taking mats away. That's how you're going to be able to go ahead and progress this movement and get the most out of it.